All righty. Well, uh, we do want to go ahead and give you guys an instruction video. Uh, thank you for buying our floating shelf brackets. You'll notice in the setup, uh, we did give you some instructions. These are kind of the bare minimum. Uh, we did want to do kind of a video just to show you guys uh, more, you know, give you a little bit more detail on how to do this. Of course, we do want to make sure you check everything when you get it. Uh, you should have uh, some uh, star-shaped screws. You should have 16 of them. You also have Phillips 16, and you'll have 16 sheetrock anchors. Uh, plenty of extras in there. Uh, also, it, when you get it, you should have four brackets. You'll have the level in here as well. Um, and then uh, you'll also have your drill bit. Uh, do not forget the drill bit. Uh, this is going to make this project really easy. So what we wanted to first do is just kind of show you guys uh, the easiest way we found to do this, especially with bigger projects like this. Um, you you want to make sure that you're doing this right if you're going to do something this heavy. This is Osage Orange or Hedge. So what you want to do first is we're going to kind of pick this up and kind of put it in the general spot where we want it. There we go. So once you kind of get it in the general spot where you want it, what we'd suggest doing is take a pencil and mark the end. Just like that, just where the shelf is going to be. And then what you do is just take yourself and set it back down. What we're doing next is you need to take a stud finder and you're going to go the length of your shelf and you're just going to find the studs along the wall. Uh, you do want to make sure, you know, that you're finding enough of them. So, you know, our shelf uh, is about six foot long. Uh, we are going to use all four brackets. because, Like I said, this stuff is pretty solid. Um, so here in a second, we're just going to go along here using our uh, stud finder, mark kind of our general spots so we have the dimensions of where we want to drill on the back. Okay? Alrighty, so after you've kind of found your end measurement, we measured in and we found the studs. We have a stud here, 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 and here. And we made it really simple. We just looked at this and we found out, okay, the center of this stud is fit five inches from the end. And so we just went... And we took it and we found the next point at 16 inches to find our next stud until we found all of them. We confirmed it with our stud finder. And then we took it on the back of the board. We marked our five inches. And then we, if you look at your tape measure and you find the little red boxes and you add five inches to it each time, that's where your mark will need to be across the board. Correct. So we did that. We have that on the back of our board now. We have it all marked up. Um, for where each of our studs are at and then what we did is is we flipped her up and we just first off we took a speed square and we just lined it up right where our inches were and just marked the whole thing across we like to make a little plus sign so you do that and then what we did is we actually used the bracket and we set it on one side we got a flush then we just made a mark and then we did it on the other side and it kind of lets you narrow in on right on where you want that bit to set so it's going right in, uh, you know, in the spot where we want to actually put the bracket in at, okay? So all we did is we marked it up. Basically, this is just all finding out where you want to make your drill. All righty, so what you want to do when you have everything marked out is you want to grab your drill. You want to get it centered right on here, get it right where you want it, and you need to make sure that you're keeping this thing level. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually show you, you know, us uh, doing this. We're going to take this and get this set up to where this can't move. But you need to make sure that you're not tilted with your drill. You need to be going straight into the board. That's really important so that bracket sits in there perfectly. Then what we're going to do is once we have our drill holes, is uh, we're actually going to take the brackets, drop them down in there, outline it, and then we're going to take a router and we're going to knock that out uh, so that the, the brackets will completely uh, sit in the wood. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, go down to the shop and, and we'll show you guys exactly how we're going to do that, okay? All right, so as you kind of just saw, uh, what you want to do downstairs is you first, you just want to take it and you want to, we, you know, we talked about lining it up. You want to drill your drill holes. Once you're done, you'll take the bracket and you'll drop it down in your drill hole. Now, at that time, it's going to sit just on the board, right? Well, you just want to turn it, get it lined up right where you want it, and then we just take a pencil and mark right around it, Okay. You want to do that on all of your uh, all of your points that are going to be, you know, where you want to put the brackets. And then what we did is we used a router and we just routed it out. Uh, we did realize we wanted to go a little bit wider, of course, than, than the bracket itself. That way you have a little bit of play when you're trying to push this up on the wall. 
Um, but you want to route that out. If you don't have a router, about a one inch chisel should do the job. It's going to be a little bit of work, uh, but you just get in there at the end and kind of chisel that out and uh, get it down low enough to where you can fit this, fit this guy down in there. And we've routed it out so that our brackets will sit down in there. The next step is trying to position on the wall where we want the brackets to go so that they'll slide seamlessly into your shelf. Okay. So this is obviously one of the more technical steps. The way that we found to do this, uh, to start out to make this easier, is we're going to take our end brackets. Now, in this case, we have four brackets. If you're doing a smaller shelf and only two, then this would be your final step. But if you're going to do a four, uh, four bracket shelf, it's a little bit longer, you want a bigger load. What you want to do is you want to take your, your uh, bracket and you want to actually go ahead and put it in the shelf. Okay. Now, the key thing here is whichever way you want your bracket to go on the wall, you want it like this, or if you want it like that, you need to do the opposite on your shelf. So we want our holes closest to the rod. We want them on the bottom side of the rod now, because when we flip this and put it on the wall, we want them up. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because what we're actually going to do here is we're going to put this in the shelf all the way in, make sure they're both all the way in. We're actually going to then take tape. Uh, we just have some painter's tape here and we're going to get it positioned right here on the end, on the end. And line it up where you marked earlier for where you want everything to sit. And then you literally take the bracket back out of the board, hold it up onto the tape. You don't have to take the tape off the wall, leave it on the wall and drill the bracket where you've punched out into the tape. Do that on both of your two end brackets. Once you've knocked out that first hole, you can take your brackets back off the wall, take the tape off the wall, and install your brackets. So once you have taken your tape back off, you know where your hole is supposed to be at, you just wanna mark your three points. Those are where your sheetrock anchors are gonna go. Once you've marked them and you take it off, you'll have your three points on the wall. You just want to take each of your sheetrock anchors and put them in those points. The important thing to note here is do not over tighten these. Now, the most important thing to note, if you're going to take any takeaway from this entire video, is when you were to set your bracket up here, if you were to put all of your screws in now, if you were to put your screw that's hitting your stud, if you're to put your screw that was hitting your uh, sheetrock anchors, and if that's all you're to do, then this shelving unit would not be complete. Uh, the most important thing that you can do is you actually want to take your stud. Now, I mean, take your screw. Now, we marked the stud right here. You want to make sure that screw is still within the stud, but we actually want it right beneath here, okay? We're actually going to screw it into the stud right now. This is the hole um, for this bracket into the stud right there. We want it just beneath where the rod is going in. So, you know, it looks like it's about a centimeter down, right? So we're just going to take this and this one, you are literally just screwing into the stud. Now you do want to make sure that that is as level as possible with the wall. Make sure that that's flush. And then what I would suggest doing next is go ahead and put the screw back into the stud so that it holds it in place. And then you can put your three screws for the sheetrock anchors in. So kind of like this. So once you have your screw back in the stud, then you can start putting in your screws for your sheetrock anchors. These are going to be your fill up head screws. Again, uh, make sure to not over tighten. All right, so what you want to do before you go ahead and shove this up onto the wall to test your first two brackets is you do want to put your middle brackets in your shelf. Uh, there'll be a reason to the madness here in a second. Let's go ahead and make sure this guy fits. So I would mark around your bracket and I would also go ahead and if you can get the ends, get the top as much as you can 
because then we're going to pull the shelf back off and we're going to go ahead and put our bracket right there uh, where it's at. Pull the middle two brackets out up against the wall. Make sure they're level with the level we included in the packet and then mark around them. Then you pull the shelf back off the wall, hold the brackets up to where you marked, mark your drill holes, and repeat the first couple steps on how we showed you how to install each individual bracket. All right, moment of truth. So, like I said, these are literally just the same steps as the end. Um, you can go back and watch that, but really it's just setting it, drawing your points for the other ones. Uh, make sure you mark where your sheetrock anchors are gonna go. Go ahead and take it back off, put your sheetrock anchors in, make sure you set your screw that other screw is going to go right under here. That's what's making this to where when I pull down, we're not dipping into the sheetrock. It's hitting that other screw that's in that stud. That's what's giving it its strength, okay? That's the key thing here. So let's go ahead and let's see if this thing will go on there. Now you can just about put anything you wanted on here, and it's not going to go anywhere. So that's what we wanted to point out here. That's the big thing here is these brackets are really going to be able to do anything that you want them to do. Okay. Just make sure you're doing it right. Make sure you're setting it up to where they're going to be able to support the weight. You know, if you're going to do bigger projects, uh, anything heavier than this, really make sure that you're going to use those longer screws. Go get some three inch deck screws, whatever you need to do. Um, that is going to make sure that it goes and gets a little bit more grab out of those studs. But honestly, with this, this thing is not, it's not moving. We could set really whatever we wanted up here. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, please make sure to email us. We put our email um, on our cards. Our customer service would love to help you. Um, we want reviews. We want feedback. We want to know what we could do better. We want to hear, you know, if there's anything that didn't make sense, we'll add that. We'll update our video. We want to make sure that we're helping you guys, um, you know, be a part of your process. Thanks for watching.